Insight 2 is an update of Isotope's original Insight metering plugin, sporting a new look, a more customizable layout, and some new tools. Though we'll be looking at it in a stereo configuration, relevant meters in the plugin can also handle surround with multi channel formats up to 10 channels, including Dolby Atmos 712 configurations. Insight 2 includes a comprehensive collection of metering tools divided into seven separate panels. It would typically be instantiated in the stereo master channel, where it can provide metering for the full mix or project, as well as for any individual solo tracks. But it could also be opened in an individual channel in a mix to examine level, balance, or frequency spectrum in separate tracks in context of the full mix. The seven different meters can all be displayed at once or in any combination by activating the desired meters from the tabs at the top of the plugin. Any individual meter can also be zoomed in by expanding it to fill the entire plugin window via the small arrows at the upper right corner of each meter panel. The meters are organized into two sections. Level and balance meters open up on the left side of the plugin window, and frequency related meters open up on the right. By dragging in between the panels, you can resize the individual meters to some degree, and the entire plugin can be resized by dragging on the lower right corner. Specific layout presets are provided. These include various meter combinations and display arrangements for particular applications, like music or post production, and you can also save your own custom layouts as well. Also, at the top of the plugin window are buttons to access the documentation and the global options. There are also individual option settings for each meter panel. I'll go through those as I cover each meter. The seven meter panels include meters for loudness, level, sound field, history, intelligibility, spectrum, and spectrogram. The level meter displays standard peak and RMS average levels. The loudness meter, on the other hand, shows average and true peak levels specifically for the purpose of compliance with the various average loudness standards in place for broadcast audio and music streaming. The loudness history display shows those same average levels over time, again to facilitate compliance with loudness standards. The sound field panel incorporates three meters. There's a vector scope with several display options, which shows interchannel phase, a correlation meter, which displays difference information between channels, and a simple balance meter to augment the engineer's ears when checking a signal stereo balance. Two meters address the frequency spectrum. The spectrum panel is a traditional spectrum analyzer, a dynamic frequency response graph to help users pinpoint any potential frequency specific issues. The spectrogram displays frequency, amplitude, and time on either a 2D or a 3D display, providing even more information about the audio signal. It can also utilize the Relay plugin to superimpose the display of an individual channel over the overall master stereo display, a potentially useful option in mixing applications. Finally, a new meter in Insight 2 is the Intelligibility meter. It also utilizes the Relay plugin, in this case to analyze the level of a voice track against the mix or overall stereo signal as the audio plays to determine the intelligibility of the voice against the track. It's primarily intended for dialogue, but can be useful with music vocals as well. Next up, I'll start going through the individual meters, beginning with a brief review of the terminology and scales that relate to level metering. <laughs> 